Hi everyone and welcome back, it's James here. Today I'm going to show you how to teach your Japanese students the question, what does this mean? To say this in Japanese is, これはどういう意味ですか How to answer it, you would write this on the board. It means in Japanese is, この意味は followed by whatever the answer is. Okay? So、um, I have a set of cards, so allow me to see. I'll just quickly go over the cards with you. AM, PM, on, off, down, sale, up, exit, open, closed, stop, and mailbox or post box. So I'm going to show you how I teach this lesson. Everyone, look at me.、Uh, what does this mean? I, I would write that on the whiteboard. What does this mean? What does this mean? Imi wa? Kore wa? Do imi desu ka? And then I would write, it means, kono imi wa? I would just leave it as that. And then show them these cards. What does this mean? What does this mean? Kore wa do imi desu ka? Some kids may know AM. Of course, that's also in, in Japanese. But I want them to say, it means. Morning. So it means morning. It means morning. Kono imi wa asa desu. So let's repeat this. It means morning. In the beginning, they may not repeat it, but eventually they will. Just keep at it. Good job. What does this mean? What does this mean? This is also in katakana English. Uh, they may see PM, but I want them to say it means afternoon. It means afternoon. It means afternoon. Kono imi wa gogu desu. Let's repeat that. It means afternoon. So once they get a hang of saying it means, make sure they emphasize means with an S. What does this mean? What does this mean? It means, oh, by the way,、um, this is also in katakana English, but I want them to say turn on.、Okay. It means turn on. It means turn on. Kono imi wa tsukete. So make sure they know the verb turn. Okay, everyone, let's repeat that. It means turn on. Good job. What does this mean? This is also in katakana English.、Um, I want them to say it means turn off. It means turn off. It means turn off. Kono imi wa kesu. Let's repeat. It means turn off. Good job. All right. What does this mean? This is also in katakana English, but I want them to say go down. It means go down. It means go down. It means go down. Kono imi wa shita ni iku. Okay, let's repeat that. It means go down. Good job. All right. What does this mean? Now, this word is ubiquitous in Japan,、uh, but they pronounce it as seiru, even though it's written the correct way. I want my students to say it means. Cheap, or it means cheaper things for older kids. So it means cheap. Kono imi wa yasui desu. Or kono imi wa moto yasui mono desu. Okay, let's repeat that. It means cheap. Everybody? Or it means cheap. Cheaper things for older kids. Repeat that. It means cheaper things. Good job!、Mm-hmm. Um, what does this mean? What does this mean?、Uh, again, this is in Katakana English. I want them to say it means go up. It means go up. It means go up. Kono imi wa ue ni iku. Let's repeat that. It means go up. Yeah, good job. What does this mean? Oh, okay, first, this is not in Katakana English. Exit, 
To say exit in Japanese is deguchi. You would say, um, this word means deguchi desu. Deguchi wa exit to you. I'll have that display. And I want them to say, it means go out. So what does this mean? It means go out. It means go out. Go out imi wa deru. So let's repeat that. It means go out. It means go out. Good job. This word is also in Katakana English, but I want them to say the store is open. What does this mean? What does this mean? It means the store is open. It means the store is open. Konimi wa omise ga kaiten or konomise ga aiteru. Let's repeat that. It means the store is open. It means the store is open. Good job! Oh, here's another word in Katakana English. Um, I want them to say it means the store is closed. What does this mean? What does this mean? It means the store is closed. It means the store is closed. Konimi wa omise ga heiten or kono omise ga shimiteru. Let's repeat this. It means the store is closed. It means the store is closed. Good job, everyone. What does this mean? This word is also in Katakana English. Stop. But I want them to say it means don't move. What does this mean? What does this mean? It means don't move. It means don't move. Don't move. Imi wa ugokunai de. Ugokunai de. So let's repeat that. It means don't move. It means don't move. Good, 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 good. What does this mean? What does this mean? Some kids may say post, okay. It means mailbox, or you can teach them it means post box. It's up to you, but I tend to use the word mailbox instead. It means mailbox. Konimiwa, you being posto no hako desu. Let's repeat that. It means mailbox. It means mailbox. Good job everyone! Praise them. Do this for the whole month or use it in your regular lesson for older kids. Eventually you can use symbols, for example a Superman symbol. You can say, what does this mean? It means Superman! Something like that. Well that's it for this lesson. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone. Till next time. Bye!